All right, this amateur video was intended to help others who are gonna do a Clearwater light install on a light bar supplied by Clearwater for Erica's or Krista's or whatever. And I had a few challenges along the way and I came up with some pretty good solutions, so it worked. The first challenge was to get this silver hex nut right down in there to drop into the hex hole so you could mount the light bar. And that was really tough. The first couple of times I tried it, I tried moving it with a, a little piece of like a skewer and it just would, didn't work. And, and then this side is even tighter. There you can see it. That had to go in from the back. There wasn't enough room to get it in from the front. Um, making that tie wrap to hook and slide it did the trick for me. So that made it so much easier. Um, I lost that one on this side the first time I tried it for about an hour trying to fish it out. <laughs> and finally I put the bike off the center stand and it jostled it enough to actually fall to the ground, thank goodness. The second challenge was getting the wiring harness tied onto the bike somehow and I used that white painted part with the slot in it. A couple of tie wraps across the top and then a big tall one across the whole thing. And it works just great. I can go lock to lock, nothing hits. The um, Darla cables are tied up and tie wrapped and all these, I had to get an adapter from flat to round because my Erica's are really old and it's all tie wrapped up on top of the light bar which is okay because you can't see it from the top of the bike. So it looks like a pretty clean install. I think the most difficult challenge was getting the data cable and the power cord down through that wiring harness trough. It was impossible. I tried five or six times. I got it halfway and then the data cable got stuck and I was just taping it to the fish that I have, that uh, Clearwater supplied, that super long tie wrap. So I couldn't get it in, I couldn't get it out. Um, I eventually got it out and kept, just, I was gonna take everything apart and wire it, but at the last minute I had this idea of using that vinyl tubing, and you can see that worked like a charm. That was fantastic. So maybe that will help somebody else. I had a terrible time trying to get this hex nut into this space. Way back here. You can just kind of kind of see it. And I made this. So I could actually hook this inside and then slide it. And then that really helped. It's just a tie wrap. Okay, so once the hex nut is in, it's real easy to get the um, M5 screw in there if you have someone put their finger over the top of it so uh, from, the, from the top of the bike so you don't push it out and have to start all over again. Okay, so I found a great place to mount the wiring harness. Um, there's no way I could get it way back up on this bar back there. I just couldn't get my hands to do it and that's where they say they want you to do it. Instead, this piece right here, has, this white extension, has a little slot in the front. So I put those two vertical tie wraps in place, put this harness up and tighten it up as much as I could. It was pretty loose. And then I used two tie wraps to go up and around this extension, which I think supports the TFT. And now, I mean, that's, that's fine. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's not going anywhere. It's right in the center and it's out of the way. All right, so here's a video of the extra tie wrap I put down that goes around this white support 
um, to hold that wiring harness in place. And uh, I might actually put another one in, but I needed a long one, so these, this is two together. Okay, I had a hell of a time, even with this supplied fish, to get the fish down through, and then when I taped my data cable to it, it just pulled out, and it's really frustrating. So I had some of this tubing here um, down in the basement. So I put the fish in the tubing, as you can see, and I actually got the tubing out this end. So now I'm hoping if I can get the data cable in here, it should just, um, in here, just pull right through. So let's see what happens. Actually, if there's enough room, I'll put the power cords in here as well and just do it all in one shot. Seems like it should work. All right, we have success. That's fantastic. That took five minutes. Uh, last night I took an hour trying to get that stuff through and actually got the data cable stuck in there. And I called Billy and he said if I wrecked the data cable that he'd just get me a new one. But this looks like it just worked fine. Um, in case somebody wants to try this, this is 3 8 inch vinyl, which I just got at the hardware store for my condensate pump. And uh, man, it worked like a charm. Unbelievably quick and easy. Okay, there you can see it all lit up and the LED turn signals are blinking. Usually the Erica's do also, but I guess I'm pretty lucky. The Billy light works great and we're all done. Thank goodness. Hope this helps.